How to drop ship on Equin. Hello everyone, I'm Jason. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to set up an e-commerce store on Equin or how to set up a dropshipping store with Equin.com. I'll also be showing you how to add AliExpress products on your Equin store and how to start dropshipping products from AliExpress on Equin. So the first thing you want to do, once on Equin.com, you're going to tap on Get Started for Free. While Equin does offer paid plans, you can use their free plan for forever as you can see right there. So the first thing you want to do is go on to Equin and you're going to tap on Get Started for Free and you're going to sign up using your email address. Once you have signed up, you will be led to this dashboard. And from here, you can see all of the menu options on the left hand corner right here. And the first thing I will be showing you how to do is to add products from AliExpress that we'll be selling on our e-commerce store. So you want to scroll down and right where you see apps, you're going to tap on App Market. After tapping on App Market, you'll be redirected to this page. And from the left hand menu option, I want you to tap on Drop Shipping. After tapping on Drop Shipping, you can see the various apps that they recommend. Spocket is a popular one for dropshipping whether you are using Equin or you are using Shopify. But while Spocket does offer a free trial, it will only last for a month as you can see right here. Then after that month you will have to pay $24.99 to continue using it. So I would recommend that you use SUP dropshipping. The reason being it is easy to use and also it is completely free. So all you want to do is tap on install app. Once you have installed the app, you are going to tap on Open App. And once you have opened SUP Dropshipping, you will be led to this page. And all you'll need to do now is simply tap on the search bar. Then from here, you can type in the type of product that you would like to sell. So let's say, for example, I want to sell watch. So I'll type in watch, then I'll tap on Enter. After tapping on Enter, you'll be led to this page on which you'll see numerous products that you can add to your store. So you can see various watches at different prices that I could add. And now all I want to do, if for example I want to add this watch, I could simply tap on the image to get a better view of how it looks. If it is to my liking, I'll tap on import. After tapping on import, I'll tap on confirm. Then once you have tapped on confirm, you can see it has been added. All you'll need to do now is tap on import product list. After you have tapped on import product list, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, you can see the products that I've added thus far to my store. And also, if you would like to import other products using a URL, so let's say, for example, you go onto AliExpress.com and you search for a particular product and you'd like to add it, all you'll have to do is copy the URL and then paste it right here and you'll be able to import the product. But now how to add this product to my store. All you have to do is hover over it. Then you're going to tap on list it to store. After you have tapped on list it to store, from here you can scroll down and you can set the price. So let's say for example, you can see at the moment it is going for $12.40. So let's say, for example, I'd like to sell it for $17. I could put in $17 right there, and you can see the price has been added to each variant. Or if you would like to sell it for a multiple of two, so you like to sell it for a multiple of two, all you'll have to do is type in two in this box right there, and it will do the maths for you. Also, if you would like to remove a variant, all you have to do is tap on the box beside it, to untick it as you can see right there. And if you would like to edit it, so for example, choose the images that you want to add, all you have to do is tap on images. Then from here, you can untick the images that you don't want to add. You can also edit the product right there. You can edit the description right here also. Once you're finished, you are going to tap on list it now. Then just give it a few seconds and the product will now be added to your store. As you can see right there, it has been added. 
So all I'll have to do now is tap on view it on store. And you can see right here, I'm led to the product page and you'll be able to see how it looks right there. So you can see that it looks very good and sleek. Now that we have added a product, I want you to go back into your Equin website. So you're going to go back into your Equin dashboard. Okay, now that I've shown you how to source and add products to your e-commerce store, it is time to start editing your storefront. And the first thing I want you to do once on this dashboard, you are going to go down to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on design. Once you have selected design, you'll be redirected to this dashboard right here. And all you have to do now, depending on if you want to change the image size, for example, if you would like to change the image size from medium to large, all you have to do is tap on large and you can see how it will look right here from this display window. And you can scroll down and you can change various things. For example, if you like to darken image background, you can do that. And you can also see the product card details right here. You will be able to edit that also. So you can set up the alignment of the product images. And you can also scroll down and if you don't want to show the product name, you can hide that. And also if you would like to hide the SKU, you can also do that. And if you would like to show the buy now button, all you have to do is tap right where you see buy now. And you're going to tap on show. And also right where you see main product images, you can show that whether you want to or not, you can decide. And you have also the category name. You can also edit this section right here and you can scroll down and as you can see this is how the product page looks at the moment. If you would like to edit it and make any changes you can do that from the left hand menu option. For example if you want to change it to three columns instead of two you can see how it will look with three columns as, as you can see right here on the display. But I prefer the two column layout and then you can scroll down even further. And you can edit the navigation bar as you can see right here. And you can also edit the image gallery thumbnails. You can edit the sidebar. There are numerous editing options you can do as you can see right here by scrolling all the way down. Once you are finished, the next thing that I would like you to do is go over to payment. And you are going to tap on payment. And from here, you can set up the different payment methods that you would like to accept on your website. So, for example, you can enable Stripe. Then you can also set up Square. And you can also set up PayPal. And if you would like to set up other payment methods, you can also do that by tapping on Choose Payment Methods right here. Now that you have set up the payment methods, it is time to focus on shipping and pick up. If you would like to offer a local pickup, you can also do that by tapping right where you see local delivery. And right where you see shipping, you can tap on that. And from here, you'll see the different shipping methods that you can use on e-commerce or better yet on Equin. So you can set up USP, UPS, you can set up FedEx, you can also set up DHL as you can see right here. After doing all of that, you can go back and tap on overview. And from here, if you would like to enable the Equin mobile iOS, you can do that. And you can see numerous features. Now to use the Instagram shopping feature and also the Facebook shop, you will need to be on the paid plan on Equin to have access to those. Once you are finished doing that, you'll tap on website right here. Then from here, you can preview your site. So you could tap on edit site. Once you have tapped on edit site, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, if you would like to change the headline or the cover image, all you'll have to do is tap on it from the left hand menu option. And from there, you can change the headline and you can also change the cover image or the layout as you can see right here. There are numerous editing options you can do and you can scroll down and you can also see the company's mission and so on. You can edit all of those also and you can arrange the sections if you want as you can see here. Once everything is finished and to your liking, you'll tap on save. 
and after you have tapped on save you could go back so you can tap on view website or you could tap on back to store dashboard i'll tap on view website and you can see how it looks at the moment let me show you how it looks and this is it at the moment this is how my store looks so you can see how it looks right there and if i were to tap on this particular product you can see right there how it looks at the moment this is the product page hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching